So today I'll be showing you how to make Twisted Fates um, throwing cards. This is going to be the yellow card. I have razor blades in it and it's completely made out of paper other than the razor blades. So let's get right into the build. So for, for the materials, we'll be using glue as the essential part. Next we'll be needing cardstock, which is 110 pound cardstock. You can find this at a Walmart. It's like any other construction paper. You can use A4 and, uh, or any other type of construction paper. As you can see, it's quite rigid. Next, we'll be needing four razor blades, and these razor blades will go on the card and act as sharp objects that will get stuck in other, act like shurikens, basically. And lastly, we'll be using a, a set of X-Acto knives to be used to cut everything. So to start off, I made hardened paper, which is basically folding the construction paper in half, spreading glue on one side and then folding it, and then letting it dry. I'm gonna make three of these and then stack them on top of each other using the same glue spread method. If you want a more in-depth version of how to create hardened paper, the link will be in the description. But other than that, I'm gonna let this dry and then we can get right into cutting out the cards. Ignore the rectangle on the left, but the two small rectangles on the right are what the template will look like, and I'm going to cut these two out of the hardened paper. So I've cut out the two rectangles from the paper. Next, what we'll be doing is I'm going to take some super glue and I'm going to basically glue the razor blades on one rectangle and then from there I can glue the second rectangle on top of it. So I glued all the razor blades as you can see onto the card and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some more super glue and then I can glue the second rectangle back on top of it. So here I got some yellow construction paper and I did my best to draw the design that appears on Twisted Fate's yellow card. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue the both pieces on both sides of the rectangle. So that's pretty much it for this build. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll be back next time.